So the following equation describes the charge and the current in RC circuit with a battery. So it's given Q as a function of time and current as a function of time. The data uh, EMF is 6 volt, uh, capacitance is 6 microfarad. R is given. From this equation, calculate the total energy dissipated as a joule heat in the resistor in time interval between time is equal to zero second and time is equal to infinite. So basically we have to find the how much energy was uh, provided or, or heat in the resistor. This is how much energy in terms of joule heat dissipated in the resistor. This is a part A. Then what is the total energy that battery must deliver in this time interval? Okay. Um, so uh, first of all, I think we can start from from this uh, equation formula. Sorry, so power is equal dE over dt. Okay, uh, then you can say that dE is equal p dt. Okay, then you can say that the the power itself is equal to the uh, i squared r dt okay mm -hmm. then uh, the current is given here so we can plug that one there so de is equal e over r epsilon minus t over rc this will be the squared times r dt. Okay. Uh, the we will integrate later on. We'll and we'll put limits. Okay. So de is equal e squared over r squared e minus two t over r c times r dt. So this R with that R will cancel. Then we'll end up with DE is equal to the epsilon squared over R uh, E minus 2T over RC DT. Okay. Uh, then we can integrate it. The limits will be from 0 till infinite. Okay. Uh, So let's bring constants outside of the integral, which is epsilon squared uh, EMF squared over R integral of E minus 2T over RC DT. Okay. Uh, to in, or in order to integrate this one, it's, it's a bit complicated. So we have to use a uh, substituting method. Okay. Uh, that means uh, we can say that uh, substituting method u. So du over dt. Uh, now we're going to integrate. Uh, sorry, differentiate this part where we will get minus 2 over rc. Okay, then we can say that dt will be equal to the minus rc du over 2. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, we also can say that uh, that this the whole thing will make it equal to the u. Okay. That means minus 2t over rc will be a u. Okay? It will be u, and then we took a derivative with respect to t, time, and that's what we got. Okay, so so far we have these two things. So let's continue. Uh, epsilon not squared to infinite. So e. Uh, u, 
so dt was equal to the this one so it means uh, minus rc du over 2 okay then uh, after that mm -hmm. again we can bring out the constants outside of the integration so we'll end up with e squared so let's put the minus here r c over 2r and e u okay mm -hmm. then this r with that r will cancel out so we'll end up with minus e squared okay sorry uh, emf squared c e to the power of u now we know that u is equal to the uh, minus 2t over rc that means we can say minus e squared c e to the power of minus 2t over rc now if you put the limits and then you should do calculation then minus epsilon naught c now uh, the infinite if you plug it infinite to the power of e it becomes a zero uh, if you plug the zero in the power of e then you will get a one so minus one so then you will get mm -hmm. by the way we forgot here uh, two mm -hmm. so we will end up with just e uh, mf squared c over two okay now if you plug the numbers you should get the answer for the part a okay now for the part b uh for the part b it will be basically energy delivered by a battery or u total energy delivered by a battery will be equal to the energy stored in the capacitor plus energy lost by a heat okay by a heat dispersion or you can say that EM, emf squared c over 2 plus emf squared c over 2 then you should get it is emf squared c so this is for the part b uh, you can plug the numbers and check if i do mistakes please let me know